Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I thought we'd do a snare drum mic shootout. Now, I'm not a drummer at all, and I don't claim to be. <laughs> okay, I'm a guitar player. But I thought, why not do some testing since there's nothing going on today at the studio? And so I went into the mic locker and I grabbed a few microphones and said, hey, let's check these out and see if you know what sounds the best because i've been using the blue encore 200 as my snare drum microphone and i really like it i like the low end it has i like the way it takes 200 from a console eq i really like that microphone for a snare drum but i have its big brother the blue encore 300 which is a high handheld uh condenser microphone i also have its little brother which is the passive dynamic blue encore 100 i've also got an sm58 and a behringer what is this thing sb78a it's a sure handheld condenser clone that uh, ordered from amazon for like 29 dollars so i thought why not do a little shootout and see how those compare so what we have is uh first it's going to be the behringer the sb78a and then we're going to go to the Encore 300, then the 200, then the 100. And then lastly, we're going to check out the Shure SM58. A lot of people like to use the 57, the Shure SM57 on a snare drum. I'm not really a fan of that microphone for pretty much anything, unless I have a drummer who's singing <laughs> in a live context. So if I'm doing live sound and a drummer comes up and I'm running the sound and he's like, yeah, I need a vocal mic. I usually give him a 57 because rejection is actually really good with that microphone. But other than that, I don't like it on anything. I don't really care for it on, on guitar amps unless I've got a really dark ribbon on that, that, uh, that guitar amp. Sometimes I'll add a 57 just to get a really bright microphone and mix the two together. But I'm not really a fan, especially of it on drums. It's too thin. The 3K bump on it just makes things sound terrible on drums. It makes you sound like you're you're hitting saran wrap with a drumstick to me. So I've always thought there are better options out there. If a 57 is what you got, use it. You can EQ it and make it sound good. But I like things to sound good right out of the gate. But the whole premise of this was to see if I could get away with using these cheap Behringer mics as snare drum mics when I do live sound because the one thing that gets hit more than anything is the snare drum microphone by drummers. They don't care because it's not their stuff. So they just whack away and you get you go and get your microphone and you're like, well, I guess we're going to trash this one because they beat it to death. These mics are like $39 brand new. I'd buy five of them if they sound good. <laughs> in a live context i don't think i'd use it to record with but you never know where you might find a use for it you know but uh it's a very small capsule it the capsule kind of looks like a, uh, the inside of a pencil condenser i'm using it to speak through right now by the way if you hadn't noticed it's not bad but yeah it could be better but for i think it's between 29 and 39 dollars depending on where you get it at it's better than all the Chinese mics on Amazon. I can tell you that, that I've heard on YouTube. Those things are garbage. But, I mean, if a drummer breaks a, a, a $29 microphone, I don't feel bad about it. But if he breaks a $129 microphone, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Okay? And that also cuts into the budget of the money I'm making by doing the live sound. You see what I'm saying? So it's not always about how does it sound especially in live context, is it good enough? And can I EQ it to sound good enough? If so, I'd rather you break my $29 microphone as for you to break my $129, you know, microphone. So as I was saying, we're going to do a little shootout here. And uh, again, I'm not a drummer and I'm not super consistent <laughs> when it comes to playing drums. But I tried to be as close as possible on all five little takes here. And I, I left the other drum mics up in spots so you could hear how they interact with the microphone as well as 
playing the hi-hat a little bit to hear how the rejection of that microphone works. So here it is. And let me know what you think down below and tell me which one you think sounds best. All right, guys and gals, here we go. <laughs> 